Hello everybody, welcome back. We are playing Fields of Fire, um, Normandy campaign, fourth mission, um, till 129, turn four. And um, we are still engaged. And um, we're still pretty torn up. So let's see what we can do here. See if we can get something going on. Um, I think we can still do this, so I don't think we're so torn up we can't, but we're going to be green for the next mission. Um, that's if we can replace all the casualties. That's a lot of casualties. Uh, we don't want that. We want cards. We're going to draw for the higher headquarters, and uh, we do not get one. we go straight down to activate the company headquarters because he is still in command with the battalion. And he will draw plus one, five. Okay. He will activate third platoon for one. Company first sergeant for two. Second platoon for three. First platoon for four. And the XO for five. And that'll be, I'm going to save the rest of his commands. Yeah, we're going to save the rest of his commands, just so we, in case we get a bad draw, we've got something. Okay, that brings us to um, platoon and headquarters and company staff. Uh, let's get the company staff done first. We can see into this. He can't see out of it, so that's actually going to flip this because we have the inco incoming on there. And we're going to rotate that. So we can actually fire the living piss out of him, but he can't do anything back because um, he's just keeping his head lowered um, and we're going to try to keep that up so we've got the first sergeant first and he's going to draw plus one six seven probably more than he can have nope right up there to nine okay so the first thing first sergeant's going to do is um we can see through here besides uh, he's up on a hill. So we can actually fire over these guys. So we're going to go ahead and start firing. And I'm going to, um, I'm only going to have the HMG fire and I'm going to try it and I'm going to have the mortar fire. So I'm going to just, those two are the only going, so I'm going to order the fire. I'm going to keep him ceased. That's going to actually give me a grenade chance and an A. And we'll put another marker in here. All right, and that's going to bring in, that's going to be a automatic up here. So we've already got automatic. Crossfire is going to stick. Um, two grenade, two cards for grenade is, yeah, he's going to be lying. Good thing we weren't doing already. Um, so that's going to be just a grenade miss. We'll take whatever we can get. Um, that's one for the first sergeant. Huh. I want to move the XO up there. All right. 
working on the wrong ones. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send, because we didn't fire them, I'm going to send the light machine gun forward into here and expose him. He's going to give me a little bit more firepower there. He goes right in there right now. See, so he's going to be able to start putting his fire in there right now. So we're going to be able to move this up to a automatic. All right. Um, first sergeant. We do have Artie on there, too. Let's try to call it in Artie. We're going to try to go. We have a nice, big um, 105HE. We're going to try to call that in. That's going to be three um, three cards for the uh, RDFO trying to get it. Good thing we got that short out of the way. And we did get a burst. So we're going to be able to put an incoming on here again. And that's going to be 105 millimeter, which according to our campaign is minus four. Should have called the 15th then, but we called the we called the minus four. All right, so that's going to be a minus four. We're going to take him down one. Text label, text label, text label. Okay, and drop one off of there. All right, that's going to be two for the first sergeant. He's what Max he can save right now. He's going to become unpinned, but we're, we're trying to rally. You move him from, uh, get, remove the pin on it first, and we got that right off the bat. Um, and I'm only doing that because while I've got the commands, I'm going to try to also bring him up to a, um, I think it's a litter. Yeah, he would become a litter. So I want to try to convert him. It's going to be three cards because he's unpinned. So now I can try to convert him over. One, and we get it right away. So he will replace with a litter. I can probably, even with that newly converted litter, just throw him over here then and mark him exposed. And that's going to be it for the first sergeant. Now the XO, he's going to draw plus one. Four commands. That gives him six. And he's up here. He has the mortar forward observer. I'm actually going to, with him, I'm going to have the Mortar Observer. I'm going to try to have the Mortar um, Fire here. I'm going to treat these two as two separate entities. Don't tell me I can't. We got two different guys in control. We can do that. I don't care what the rules say. I'm not even sure if they say we can or not. But we're not even going to look. And that's going to be mortar. And he needs three cards to call in the mortar. He does not get it. So then we're going to try to have the XO himself call it in for two cards. And he gets it. 
but that's mortar, so we're not going to get the uh, battalion. So we're just going to get the minus three mortar fire on there. That's also going to put a crossfire on him. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do with the XL. That brings us to our platoons. First platoon's green minus one. He gets two orders. It really hurts having greenies. Um, I wonder if I can make these two into a um, squad. Reconstitute. Two or three unpinned assault or fire teams. Any headquarters or staff. So he's got one chance at this. And one card. We're looking for a rally, I think it is. He doesn't get it. Um, we can direct this mortar right here, and we will, to fire on here. I'm going to have crap all over the place. So he's going to get two chances to drop that in there, looking for grenades. Nope. So we'll just get another grenade miss on there. We're going to do whatever we can to, to rack up some uh, negatives on these guys and get rid of these two while they're pinned. Um, he can't do anything right now. He can. I'm just trying to concentrate on him while I can. And also, while we're engaged... That's his, that's his command, so that's all he can do this turn. Um, let's go bring up 2nd Platoon. 2nd Platoon is up front and veteran. He's going to get 6. Gives him maximum right now. These guys are all going to fire. So we've got to take and move that down one. He's going to fire. That's going to be one. And then we're going to look for uh, grenades. We're going to get a grenade miss. All right. Um. He, he can fire. I so desire. Let's do that. We've got the commands. We've got to get things moving. We're going to go ahead and try two on him. Nothing. We'll get another grenade miss anyway. Um... I'm just going to save the rest of his commands, and he's got six saved. Three, third platoon. He gets four. He's just lying. Third platoon's down here. Boy, everybody is here. We've got nothing in here right now. They're all part of my platoon. I'm going to platoon move them forward. And then we're going to add an next door and they get that HMG to move forward. And he's not going to be able to fire this turn. That's going to be three commands to get that, make that happen.
and we're just going to not do anything more with him. Um, we'll hold on to his commands. That brings me to general initiative. We get three commands for that. Oh boy. Well, we're supposed to take it. We're going to move him forward and exposed. We're going to move him forward and exposed to try to take care of these while we are engaged. Um, that's two. That I'm going to have him try to search for cover. He's got it. Got it twice. Don't need it twice. Oh, I didn't have to. There's cover in there. He can just move to that cover in the card. Um, that's my general. And we go to higher headquarters for the enemy. Oh, they get something too. It's going to be a one. Campaigns Normandy enemy. Evacuate casualties. Remove all one map casualties on cards with no U.S. troops. Well, that's not going to hurt or help because they don't have any. They have pinned and pinned, but no casualties. That's not going to help or hurt. All right, that's going to bring up um, their actions. And they are right now, enemy actions, they are pinned. Both of them are. Um, he is pinned. Not under cover. He could draw card five. That's going to be four. Going to try to rally. It gets two, their veterans. That's going to be three cards to rally. One, two, three. Not rally. That's not rally. So he is not. So he will be able to continue firing. That's it. The second guy's pinned and undercover, not undercover. Also, one. Um, that's going to be two. That's no action. So he's not going to do anything. And they're both pinned, so they're not getting their grenade techs this turn. They're just firing them back. Um, so, uh, and actually, he can't do anything because of this. And hopefully, we've shut him down next turn so we knew to match your mutual capture and retreat there's nobody to capture any non-pin paralyzed or um, litters can move out of VOF he's a litter he's not pinned so we can move him Move him back to the casualty station with the first sergeant. These are all pinned. Move, uh, no, no fires. We're going to update fire missions. And that's going to leave incoming on both of these now. So after this turn, they will not be able to see out of either one of them. Eventual, evaluate potential contacts. Uh, we have two of them. One here and one here. Both are A's. We're going to go one and two. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Two will be first. That'll be this one down here. He's a potential contact A. We are engaged. That's going to be five cards. One, two, Jesus. Two, yeah, we got contact three, four, five. So we got contact on him right away. 
Um, that's going to be two. That's going to be an HMG nest. One is going to be per, per table package placement. Return them. HMD G nest is two over, two over ten. That's going to hurt. Oh boy. I'm losing my mind sometimes. Sometimes I just don't get what's going on with me. Eight. Not two out of ten. Eight. HMG Ness. He's going to place a volume of fire. He's he's going to be spotted because he's firing away. Um, at max LOS, it's going to be a squad and an HMG. And in this one, all squads are the A. And they're going to be under foxholes. Get one HMG and one squad automatic. And they're going to be under foxholes and they're going to be max LOS. So we've got three possibilities one here, one here. And one here. So we're going to draw card three. That's going to be one. So they're going to be at the farthest possible one. Right up here where we don't want them. There's already foxholes there. But the good thing is, is we've got them spotted already. Uh, PDF on the bottom. And... They're both firing. Minus. Minus. Let's just go ahead and clone that. Bring that down to here. I'm going to put VOF of A on there. Not, not A. Not that. Replace that with automatic. We in turn see them, but we can't do squat about it. All right, so that's um, another potential contact A cleared. We're going to pay for that when we're in open fields, but that needed to be done. Um, next one, this one right here. Uh, potential contact A is going to be another five cards. Two, three, four, come on, five, yes. We just clear that one out with no problems. Nice, we got objective number two cleared. Um, not the way I wanted to do it, putting an assault team out there like that, but we're, we're doing what we got to do right now. We don't really have to care about clearing these guys. Um, Basically, all I really need to do is get these guys out of here. They will be able to shift fire down on him. But if I move him out of there, we've still secured our objective. It's just going to make things harder on this. Um, all right. We did those. Now, any pinned vehicle or infantry units on a card without a VOF marker, remove the pins. They still have a VOF. This one does not because he can't see out. So anybody that's pinned here loses them. All right. And that's it for pins. They've got plenty of um, VOFs coming in on them. Now we're going to uh, do all the... I'm just going to work my way here, 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 and here. Well, actually here, here, and there. Um, supposed to do it randomly, but I lose track of things. So, uh, what we have here is minus one. I'm going to expand this out. You'll be able to see less, but I'll be able to read it better. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. 
oh yeah, minus four, five, six. I did that wrong. Minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine. Plus two is minus seven. Plus one is minus six. So he's got a minus six coming at him. And um, that's going to be a hit. And he is veteran. And that's going to be fire team. I'm going to flip him to his fire team side. So he is no good for anything right now as far as firing back, and he stays pinned. I mean, that was good. We got at least got rid of the, um, the grenade because he would have had a um, S anyway. They discard them. That takes care of him. We're going to move over here. We have a minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, plus 2. Is a plus a minus four plus one is a minus three. That's going to be a hit. He also is a veteran, and that's going to be a litter team. That's a, that's an even better hit. So we're going to place an LAT litter. That litter is going to be pinned, and this guy is going to go to my command display as casualties. Or I actually could return him to the force pool. All right. And so we have all pinned coming down here. Plus four. Plus five. Plus six. Plus six is a miss. Off comes his pinned. And plus two, plus four. Minus two is plus two. Plus two is pinned. But he'll get pinned. That's all right. He's going to lose that pin right away because this is going to disappear. And actually, we can just go ahead and do that right now. We'll flip that over and rotate it around so we don't forget. And we got to remember to cease fire on that one. All right, so things are starting to move up here a little bit. We're going to do clean up. And um, we've actually got forces on the move. We've already got rows one, two cleared, three is on, well, partially cleared, and we've got our secondary objective. So we just got three more cards to clear, and we're moving into turn five. So we should be able to do this. The biggest problem is going to be him. Oh, forgot that one. Um, A, minus one, plus one is zero, and he was uh, exposed too, so that's going to be a minus... Minus two. Forgot to do that. So minus one. Minus three plus one. Minus two. And he's lying. Hit. And he's lying. Oh, that's casualty. That's a casualty. Casualty. And that came out of, uh, I think it was third platoon, no, second platoon over here. So I'm going to put a casualty on one of second platoons because I do not remember which one came out of. We should have six casualties now, and we do. Not good. And he doesn't get a pinned marker. Forgot about that one. Um, all right, so that's going to be it for turn number five. We'll go ahead and continue this up next session. Um, not horrible. We're taking casualties. We may not be able to replace them all. Um, not if we keep taking them. But we are getting the job done. Um, we've got three more cards to clear. This one's going to be easy. This one here are working on, and I can actually, now I'm not going to move anybody in there yet, because we're still pounding that with artillery. I'm just going to keep pounding that with artillery. With this opened up, we got the first sergeant over here and the Artie spotter. We're going to just keep pounding that with Artie until he's gone. And then we're going to move them up, 
and try to pound this with Artie. Not that, this. So we'll start putting everybody on a push here in a little while. All right, that's it. Thanks for joining me. That was um, Fields of Fire by GMT Games. And uh, we are on the Hill 129 mission of Normandy. And that was turn five. See you next time.